Hi hey everyone, Jason Cosway here from DIY Product Testing. Uh, I've got a treat here. I uh, finally came in. I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, <clears throat> the uh, solar cells are here. Um, now these are 19.8% efficient and they put out 0.5 volts uh, per cell at 4.8 watts. So here, we'll open this package up and uh, see what we have. We picked up 35 cells. Okay, so it's come well packaged like that, which is smart. You know, you don't want them to break. They are wafers. And I will show you in a second after I open this up. So we'll get that out of the way. And we'll, here we go. Now I've already opened these, checked them, uh, because on pawn shipping, as soon as you receive them, you want to contact them in case there are any broken cells. Uh, you want to contact the company right away. But those are the cells right there. There's 35 of them, and they are wafer thin. So that's how thick the stack is. There's 35 cells there. Now, I'm not going to play with these ones <clears throat> and handle them too much because this is what I'm using to build my panel. Um, uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually taking an uh, old um, uh, uh, t uh, television uh, dish for uh, your house and I'm taking it, getting that chrome um, car wrap and I'm going to line the dish in it and um, it'll come out nice and smooth but because a dish is, desi is designed to send uh, is angled and designed to send the signal to uh, a single focal point oops let's make sure these get back in there carefully designed to go into a single f focal point which is a receiver on the end or the transponder that's where i'm going to put one of these plates got to be careful though with the temperature because these can only handle up to 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, but they can go down to minus 40, which is nice as well. So that's, those are, these are just plain cells. There's no glass, no nothing. Positive side is on the back. Negative is on the, on the blue. Um, so here, I'll show you because I pulled these out. So these are uh, photo of, of vitalic uh, mono cells. The grade panel v, uh, PV silica cell. Now this is what happens when you mishandle a cell, and your I on my uh, YouTube channel there. I already put out a little service announcement. We sometimes we forget about electricity and electrical equipment we're working with and how how fragile it can be, and I accidentally did that. The panel still puts out power, obviously, but now that I'm handling it, so this strip here, that's your negative. And you flip it over, that strip there, that's your positive, right there. So you have to run a lead from each one of these to the next one, next panel. So I run, I would run a lead from this, this, this positive, and onto the next panel, I would run a lead and just solder it onto the, just that little edge to the next panel. And then from so, so on and so forth. And then to the next panel, onto the bottom lead, to the next panel, onto the next lead on top. And you have to do, do, do all four leads. And then when you do, as you're doing this, it's best, obviously I'm gonna have to have a, a UV rate, a UV uh, protective uh, glass. Um, there's a, a couple of different materials you can use um, that you use for shielding in front of the, in front of these. Um, I'm gonna try a couple different out to see what works best. Um, but like I said, I'm taking one of these panels and I'm gonna use it as a focal point on the on the dish, so that the di the chrome on the dish grabs the sunlight and it just blasts it right at the panel. Now. Um, in some studies that have been done uh, in large uh, 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 builds uh, in Europe that they've done this similar uh, style of uh, collecting energy, uh, temperatures reach up to 6,000 degrees because you're grabbing so much sun and putting it 
uh, into a, a pinhead point. Um, it's like when you're a kid and you take a magnifying glass and burn, burn ants, or I don't know what you used to do with the magnifying glass as a kid, but you could burn stuff with a magnifying glass. That's what you're doing. You're trying to get that little pinpoint uh, a, a focus of sun, uh, and you want it directly in the center of the cell. Um, but because of temperature reasons, I can only go to 80 degrees. Uh, I will have, I'm, de depending on what it could put, what the temperature uh, could reach, uh, I might be able to not, I might not have to do anything. It might be able to handle it. But if not, I'll have to detune it. And that means uh, focusing the cell inwards a bit more and widening the, uh, the sun, uh, the sun's, um, uh, fo uh, uh, point, point, point of, um, um, origin. Uh, so, so just wa bring the cell in closer to the uh, dish, widening this, uh, the, the sun. So it fills the entire cell and it'll also drop the temp drop the temperature on that as well. So, but yeah, that's just a mistake playing around, you know, not just, Hey, uh, oh yeah, I'm so used to playing with electricity and you know, it's, uh, you forget some, not, not that these are dangerous, but, uh, and don't forget DC, uh, voltage is dangerous. So don't, don't think I th I'm saying DC voltage isn't dangerous and AC is, isn't dangerous. They're both dangerous, but it's just, uh, equipment too. I'm talking more or less equipment. Uh, some of our equipment is fragile. So as you can see, I broke it and it's I'll just take this little chip and I'll show you how easily it just snaps just like that it's no pressure at all so that's uh that's what happens there anyway this is Jason Causeway from uh DIY product testing coming at you with um the solar cells anyway if you guys have any uh questions or comments please subscribe and like my channel and um yeah, hopefully we'll see you in the next next one. We got a lot more products coming, so love you guys and uh, take care. Bye for now.